Norman Jaffe, once he would take an assignment to design a residence, he would look at the site and he would say, you know, how does this land speak to the design? And he really wanted to celebrate the agricultural vernacular of this area. When you arrive at 100 Further Lane, you see the two mounds of earth on the side, you see the stonework, and then you see a path. And this path leads us right to the front door. We go in and there's a vaulted ceilings and the view opens up right in front of your eyes, right out to that three acre site and to the natural world. There are very few three acre sites south of Further Lane, so this is extremely valuable land. If you were to take this property and say, okay, the most prominent spot in this area, as if it was a hill, we would be at the top of that hill. is wooden paneled walls. You have um, stone fireplace areas. It feels like it's very much in accordance with the natural world around it. It's very soothing to be in a space like that. Anyone would be lucky to have this as their getaway because it's so close to the ocean and to a, you know, a wonderful town. You don't even have to leave. You have everything that you need. You have your pool, you have your tennis court, you have plenty of space, you know, you have, everyone has their own privacy. The bedrooms are nicely spread out in separate wings. It's just a great opportunity for anyone really who wants a peaceful retreat away from New York City, next to the ocean, in one of the most beautiful spots. Even the way the tennis court sits on the land, unless you're playing on that tennis court, you're not looking at a tennis court, you wouldn't even see it. Across the street is the house that Jackie Kennedy summered in. Growing up, it's called the Lasada House, and it, which is translated as place of peace. 100 Further Lane is equally a place of peace, the way that Norman Jaffe created this environment. 